Kintahay daw nag-invest ka, whatever that may be, mutual funds ba, stocks ba, real estate business or whatever, mag-consider ba ni mo siya as an expense account, right? So, it's a very good question because ang logic mang good, when you invest, nagapagawas gap mong ka o kwarta. But the good thing is, na asya'y bigger purpose of it, which is to grow your money, to have your money work for you. That is why, sa kanina video, ishare na ako ang duha kabuok na mindset na kinahangla na tumasabtan when it comes to investing. Okay? So, number one is, when you are investing, guys, you will always have a cash outflow in the beginning. But hopefully, in the future, it will give you cash inflow. No? So, this is what you call like a cash flow statement, no? Kung unsa idaga ni mo si mong finances. Na, the, uh, sa financial statements, mango na siya ginatawag na balance sheet, na income statement, na po tayo ginatawag na cash flow. For me, ang pinakapaborito na ko sa tanan is kaning cash flow because it's the actual cash na madawat ni mo on a monthly or on a weekly basis, right? So, to give you an example, kintahay nagpalit ka o real estate. Buta na to para klaros, kondo. No, nipalit ka kondo. Tapos, ang imuhang logic is after ma-turn over ang unit, you plan to have it rented out. Sa ato pa, imo siyang ipaatkila sa mga tenants. No? So that you will generate passive income. That's one of the best ways for us to generate passive income pinaagi sa real estate. However, samtang nagabayad pa ka, naagya po kay expenses. Diba? Kaya nagabayad man ka for that specific real estate. So in the beginning, part na siya sa mong cash outflow. No? Nagapagawa siya sa muhang bulsa. In the future, siguro, let's say, after maturn over na, na na kayo nakuha na tenant, then na na kayo madawat na cash inflow that can liquidate your katong expense ni mo for that specific real estate. Right? So, that's the very first philosophy na kung naagani kay, na, kung naagani kay investment, kailangan di hapon ka magpagawas o kwarta. That's number one. Number two is in the future, since nagpalit ka real estate or whatever stocks or mutual funds, na kay ginatawag na asset. Kanisya ng mga investment platforms, they are called asset classes. Lahilahi silang mga risk, lahilahi silang mga returns, but they are all asset classes. Na akay property, na akay ari-arian na nakapangalan sa imuha or nakapangalan sa imuhang negosyo. No? So, let's just think that in the beginning, when we are investing, we still need to consider it as an expense until the time comes na magkaroon siyang income for us and magkaroon po siya o kanang naana sa tuwang equity of that specific asset class. Okay? So, hopefully, naklaro to siya, no? So, Question of the day is para sa imuha, um, unsa man ang mga investments ang naani mo sa pagkakaroon, right? So let us know in the comment section para ma-entice puta no to engage with you guys.